We loved our wrestling toys, hosting our own little WrestleMania dream matches on the floor of our bedrooms like a bunch of idiots. If we'd been thinking, we would have left every one of our wrestling pals in their packaging in a hermetically sealed safe room so we could sell them on eBay and be super rich. I'm Senior Siete for Seven Wrestling. Let's take a look at seven of the most valuable WWE action figures. Now, before we get into this, we appreciate your support. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and Huracan Rana, the notification bell. Also, we weren't always able to find accurate sale prices for some of these figures, so just remember that something is only worth as much as someone else is willing to pay for it. So take some of these eBay and online retailer prices with a grain of salt. Number one, LJN Miss Elizabeth, purple skirt. No, 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 we're not talking about the special naked edition of the Miss Elizabeth figure that the pervs at LJN made for funsies that was accidentally leaked out to the public. No, 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 no. We're going to try to focus on actual figures that were actually designed to be sold. So no customs, anything like that. Kicking off this list is none other than the first lady of professional wrestling, the former wife of the macho man Randy Savage, the lovely Miss Elizabeth. Her LJN action figure is important for a variety of reasons, including the fact that it is the first ever female WWE action figure, but the reason it makes this collection is because of the skirt she's wearing. And like we said earlier, we are very thankful they gave her a skirt. In the action figure business, any changes to the toy over the run is called a variant. Paint schemes can change, costume designs can be different, and in this case, the loose skirt that Miss Elizabeth wears comes in two different colors. The most common version sees Miss Elizabeth in a shiny gold skirt. However, a very rare variant sees her in a purple skirt that matches her top, which makes sense as Miss Elizabeth was more likely to wear an evening gown than a mismatched shirt and blouse. And you could probably buy yourself a pretty nice evening gown with what the purple skirt Miss Elizabeth goes for these days, as one recently sold at auction for $1,800. Ooh, yeah. Number two, Black Card LJN. Every kid in the 80s had the same seven LJN figures. Hulk Hogan, Roddy Piper, Ricky Steamboat, Randy Savage, King Kong Bundy, Sergeant Slaughter Knockoff, and Weird Naked Andre the Giant. These guys came out at the height of the rock and wrestling toys craze and were available at every nearby toy store. <laughs> remember toy stores. In 1989, the WWE license was moved from LJN to a Canadian toy company called Grand Toys. Therefore, the sixth and final line of these action figures were mostly available in limited quantities in Canadian toy stores or through mail order. These figures are referred to as black card because of the black background on the packaging card, which distinguishes them from the early series that had the blue colored cards. The line consisted of many re-releases of classic figures such as Jake the Snake Roberts, Randy Savage, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, as well as several new figures like the Big Boss Man, Ravishing Rick Rude, and a redesigned and no longer naked Andre the Giant. This collection is so obscure that rumors exist to this day of re-released Blackheart figures of Bret Hart and Miss Elizabeth. However, we were unable to find any accurate faux evidence of these figures anywhere online. Mysterious. All of these figures on card are worth a pretty penny, but the most valuable one might be the Ultimate Warrior. We were only able to find one online shop that had one, and the asking price was a cool $12,000. Speaking of which... Number 3. More Rare Ultimate Warriors The Ultimate Warriors had some moments he probably isn't particularly proud of, the homophobic speech that turned him into a pariah, whatever he's doing to poor Santa Claus in this comic book, but you've got to give him credit for this little bit of genius. The Ultimate Warrior hadn't had any kind of working relationship with the WWE after he was fired in 1996, so in 2004 when he signed a deal with Jack Pacific to become a part of their classic superstars line of toys, he included a clause where they would create limited editions of certain figures that the Warrior would have exclusive access to. So he signed them, made his own certificate of authenticity, plopped them on his website, and sold them for thousands of dollars each. Nice work if you can get it. This Marble Warrior is one of only 20, and will run you about 2,000 bucks. Same for this figure commemorating the Ultimate Warrior's WCW return, 
Only 25 of this Ring Giants Warrior was made. That'll set you back about $4,000. And this USA-inspired Ultimate Warrior is one of only five that exist and can cost you 2,500 bucks. And yeah, that kind of money might be chump change for the person who literally invented Destrucity, but kudos to him for understanding the toy market. Number four, Hasbro Dusty Rhodes. The son of a plumber, the father of a nightmare, Dusty Rhodes had a brief cup of coffee in the WWE in the late 80s and early 90s. He enjoyed memorable feuds with the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, Randy Savage, the Big Boss Man. He even gave us one of our first looks at the man who would become Gold Dust. And next to Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, he might have been the most popular guy on the show. Every wrestling fan does a Dusty Rhodes impersonation. Oh, sweet Sapphire, I offered up my innocence and you paid me back in scorn. Okay, I didn't see every wrestling fan did a good Dusty Rhodes impersonation, but uh, here's my impersonation of a WWE wrestling fan going to a store to buy a Dusty Rhodes action figure. Oh crap, sold out? Oh well, I guess I'll buy a Hulk Hogan figure with his signature Hulkster hug. Gross. Sadly, for all the American Dream fans out there, by the time Hasbro got around to putting out a Dusty Rhodes figure, the son of a plumber was on his way back to WCW. So the production line was cut short, making him one of the rarest WWE Hasbro figures ever. How much will an on-car Dusty Rhodes set you back? The cheapest one we found on eBay will cost you about three grand. Oh, doggy, that's a lot of money if you will. Yeah, 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 I know, it needs work. Number five, Poppy Hulk Hogan. The Sylvester Stallone sequel Rocky III introduced pop culture to Thunderlips in May of 1982. The man who played the ultimate male, a professional wrestler you may have heard of named Hulk Hogan, would be a force in the AWA before he jumped to the WWE in 1983. He'd win the world title early in 1984, and the phenomenon known as Hulkamania would take over the United States. But wrestling fans in Pacific had known Hulk Hogan for years from his time in New Japan Pro Wrestling, he even won the first International Wrestling Grand Prix Tournament back in 1983. So it's not surprising that the very first Hulk Hogan action figure comes from Japan. Poppy Super Peruso Pro Wrestling Soft Vinyl figures featured some names that would be very familiar with people in the United States, including Terry Funk, Andre the Giant, Abdul the Butcher, and Bob Backlund. Of course, there's also the immortal one himself, Hulk Hogan. And just like baseball cards are more valuable when a player is in their rookie season, so too is this first ever Hulk Hogan action figure. Think about it. The man has had action figures, thumb wrestlers, squirting heads, children's chairs, wrestling buddies, you name it. So it isn't shocking that a loose version of this figure can go for thousands of dollars, while a 1981 Hulk Hogan poppy figure in its original packaging is considered one of the holy grails of wrestling collectibles and can cost upwards of 12 thousand dollars wow and that's without a holster hug number six toy fair exclusives toy fair is the annual new york toy event that brings buyers and press members from all over the world to the javits center it's an opportunity for toy vendors to show off their wares and give everyone an opportunity to make orders in time for the holiday season however some toy manufacturers decide to host their events away from the crowded convention center floor Jack Specifics in particular would hold their showing in their New York offices, which raises a unique concern. How do you lure people away from the convenient Javits Center and into your office, which might be quite a hike away? Well, the answer is by offering a goodie bag. A goodie bag that includes an extremely rare, limited edition action figure that the person can immediately pop on eBay and make some decent money. Over the years, this led to special one of 100 figures of the Ultimate Warrior, a bloody Terry Funk, the Glow in the Dark Undertaker, and Bobby Heenan in his classic weasel suit. These figures are so rare that they can range in price from $500 to $800. However, the Toy Fair Limited Edition line is also responsible for one of the most controversial wrestling figures of all time, one that we have definitely talked about here at Seven Wrestling. I'm talking about the Roddy Piper figure, where half of his body and face are painted black, similar to the look he wore at WrestleMania 6 when he brawled with Bad News Brown. This uh, conversation piece will set you back at least $2,000. Number seven, Hasbro Moon Belly Kamala. Kamala the Ugandan giant was a prominent WWE villain back in the 80s and even had a second run in the early 90s. Portrayed by James Harris, Kamala squared off against the big babyfaces of the day, including Hulk Hogan, 
Andre the Giant, and The Undertaker. He was easily recognizable by his impressive size, his elaborate face paint, and the two stars on his chest, and the moon on his protruding belly. There you can see him in his LJN figure, two stars, one moon, but why doesn't he have a moon on his belly in his later Hasbro figure? No less of an authority than the guys at Pawn Stars got to the bottom of this mystery when a customer brought in a moon belly version of the Kamala action figure, expert Steve Johnston was brought in to verify the authenticity of the piece, seeing as most figures featured an off-center star. It was believed that the moon belly figure was one of 24 pieces that was sent off for approval from various company stakeholders. The belief is that Harris never signed off on the figure, and through a legal loophole, they were able to release a version that featured the star motif without his approval. It was later revealed in the episode that the figure was a fake. And why would someone go to the trouble to create a phony wrestling figure? Well, wrestling action figure aficionado Zack Ryder has admitted to paying $11,000 for his moon belly Kamala. And honestly, that's more than enough money to get me to bust out the yellow paint. Today you can find a Kamala Moonbelly figure in its original packaging on eBay for the buy now price of $21,000. Alright, screw it. Get me some paint. Well, there's our list. Do we forget any other valuable WWE action figures? If so, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hip toss that notification bell. Until next time, I'm Senior Siete for Seven Wrestling saying bye bye.